Now, you've heard about the laws of supply and demand. Well, one of these laws says that the higher the price a producer can get for his product, the more of it he'll want to sell. In other words, the larger the supply. This way, he can cover his production costs and earn a good profit. Yes, but the higher the price of a product, the less of it people will buy. Right. The higher the price of a product, the smaller the demand will be for that product. And what happens when the price is lower? Well, the lower the price of a product, the more of it people would probably buy. But the lower the price, the less profit there is for the producer. He won't want to produce a large supply. The lower the price, the larger the demand, and the smaller the supply. So you see, consumers want to buy as cheaply as they can, and producers want to cover their production costs and make a profit. So how do they set a price? How do they each get what they want? I'll show you. Let's start with the producer. He has to figure out how much he's going to supply and what he's going to charge. Uh, take Chuck, for example. It costs him a certain amount for ingredients, labor, and facilities to make so many cookies each day. He then has to decide, based on his costs, what he's going to charge per cookie. He just can't charge any price he wants, however. No matter how good his cookies are, he can't make people buy them at any price. He has to set a price that will be acceptable to his customers and profitable for himself. And most important, he has to be competitive with other producers making the same product. If he were to charge more for his cookies and bake a lot, he'd find himself with a surplus on his hands. Not many people would pay that much for a cookie. If he were to charge less for his cookies, people might demand more than he's supplied. He'd run out and be left with unhappy customers and lose business. <laughs> 